fossils. Some are even older than I am. These ancient organisms can be found in various places in the country, but right here in New Jersey, we've got a great place to explore today on this topic of fossils, where we're going to find various things like brachiopods and an ancient shellfish that no longer exists and the remains of blimnitites, whatever they are. They're actually ancient squids that don't exist anymore. We'll, we'll even look at some shark teeth. So sit back and relax as we enjoy this episode on fossils. Here at the Porosy Brook Fossil Beds, in Monmouth County, New Jersey, not only can you look for fossils, you can find fossils, and you can excavate and keep them too. So we're gonna take a little trip down to the brook and I'll show you how it's done. Here at Porosy Brook, this stream runs through a geologic formation from the Cretaceous period. And in this sediment can be found a whole bunch of different kinds of fossils. And all you need to find them are a few simple tools, like a hand trowel and a strainer of some kind. And be careful, you don't want to cut into the bank, but all you need to do is sift through the sediment on the bottom of the stream. Doing this, if you're lucky, sifting through it, you may too be able to find some fossils yourself. Here are some of the types of fossils that you can find at Parsi Brook. You can find various types of old shells like this. You can find the remains of an ancient squid-like creature called bolimnotites. By the way, these shells are called brachiopods. You may also find some shark teeth as well as some larger shells. All of these are from the Cretaceous geologic period and they're found right here in New Jersey and you can actually keep them and bring them home unless you find something of great significance in which case the park here asks you to donate it to their collection so that everybody else can check it out too. It would be pretty accurate to say that New Jersey is the home of paleontology, the birthplace in fact, uh, the Hadrosaurus, an ancient dinosaur, was first discovered here in New Jersey in a town called Haddonfield. But much further to the north, on the opposite side of the state, in Sussex County, is a formation called the Kittatinny Limestone. And in geologic circles, it is world famous. Once again, New Jersey. Who knew? But in this particular location are the best preserved remains of an ancient organism called stromatolites. And these stromatolites here are the best preserved specimens in all of North America. Geologists from all around would salivate to be able to see what we have right here in New Jersey. Some other fossils we have, in fact, in this same formation are things called Oolites. Now, that's one of those really cool science words that you just have to say more than once. Oolites. Isn't that a neat name? Anyway, New Jersey, world famous for its fossils. I'm paddling today here at White Lake, north of Blairstown in northern Warren County. White Lake is called White Lake because of the bottom surface of this lake looks white. From a distance, from above, it looks white because of the material that it's made out of. If I were to grab a handful of the substrate or the bottom of this lake, you'll see it's made out of millions and millions of tiny little freshwater shells. These shells compacted over time beginning the fossilization process forms what's called marl, M-A-R-L. 
marl is this uh, accumulation of these freshwater shells over long periods of time that are filled with a lot of calcium carbonate or limestone. It's also known as a limestone lake here because uh, this lake formed in the middle of a giant crack in a limestone formation. But here at White Lake we can enjoy the peace and the serenities of our surroundings as we enjoy the white bottom of this lake made out of marl. So as you can see, New Jersey has a rich and interesting history when it comes to fossils. New Jersey has a lot of other kinds of fossils too that we just couldn't include all in this one episode, but fossils of dinosaur footprints, of uh, tracks and trace fossils, and my personal favorite, coprolites. You'll learn this week about what coprolites are, and uh, we'll just leave it at that. So I hope you enjoyed learning about fossils this week.